So I get a call, they say, would you like to come to New York and be on this TV show called Law and Order as for you? I was like, no. <laughs> no, why? I lived in LA. It was a TV show again. I had already worked a TV show, and I was like, that's too much work. I don't want to do it. And uh, they said, just give us four shows. Then, now, you see how the black people run, you too big for them? The white people run this one. You owe this to Mr. Wolf. Big <laughs> <laughs> Wolf's taking a lot of pills, I see. Come on. Come on. So I'm like, I don't know. So I'm talking to one of my gangster buddies. I got this fool, well, not a fool, a gangster named John Nell sitting in front of me. He's a shot caller for a set. He says, uh, no, cuz, you should go to New York, man. You know what I'm saying? You can always quit that show if you don't like it. I'm like, word, I could always quit. <laughs> Jewel, you can always quit. You should always take that step because you can always quit. You never have, you never connected to anything for life. Let me tell you, here's, I'm gonna tell, can I tell y'all a joke that I live by that has something to do with that? Here's a joke. There was a preacher and he was standing in a flood. Now if anybody knows the punchline of my joke and they yell it out, then I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> There's a preacher, he's standing in a, in a flood. Water's up to here. A boat comes by. They said, preacher, preacher, get in the boat. You're going to drown. He says, don't worry, I'm doing the work of the Lord. Please leave, I'll be okay. The water's up to his chest. Another boat comes by. They say, preacher, preacher, please get in the boat. You're going to drown. We're trying to evacuate. He says, don't worry, God has my back. I'll be okay. And now we work. But water's up to here. He's treading. They say, preacher, get into the boat. He says, don't worry about me. I'm doing the work of the Lord. You guys get out of here. I'll be okay. Boat leaves, he drowns. He goes to heaven. He sees this little area and it says, God. He says, can I go speak to God? And the angel says, yes. So he goes over to God. He says, God, can I talk to you for a minute? God says, yes, my son. He says, God, I never broke any of the Ten Commandments. And God says, true, and I know you. I love you for that. He said, I went to church seven days a week. He says, true, and I love you for that. He said, I never spoke your name in vain. He says, true, and I love you for that. He said, well, God, if you love me so much, Why'd you let me die? God said, let you die, dumb motherfucker. I sent you three boats. <laughs> Moral of the story is these boats come in life. You have to get in them. College was a boat for all you guys. You got in the boat. A lot of people will spend their whole life complaining about things, and the opportunities are right in front of them. They just don't take them or they don't maximize on them. You gotta take them, you gotta take them. You know, they say luck is when, you know, uh, opportunity needs preparation. You have to be prepared. You can get the break. I can get you onto a TV show, but if you can't act, that's it. So maybe you need to be prepared before you get that break. Maybe you need to take some acting lessons. Maybe you have to be ready for this particular, you know, it's kind of like playing pool. You can't just shoot the ball in from the other side of the pool table. You have to position yourself to be able to make the shot. Right now, what you guys are doing are positioning, positioning yourself to take the shot, whatever your shot is in life. Because the door only opens once or twice, and it, well, in this case, three times for this particular preacher. God had no mercy. God was like, niggas, you crazy. 